What's up you guys, Marvel Icon 12 one more time with another quick figure review. Very, very first review in the new house. Very, very first review in the new Marvel room. And uh, well, today I got this figure that I got on the mail yesterday. And this is the Iron Man Mark 50 based on the movie Infinity War. And this figure is not um, a Hot Toys figure. I know it looks very similar to the Hot Toys figure, but no, this is the Empire Toys Iron Man Mark 50. And um, Empire Toys is a company that make uh, Hot Toys copies. Basically what they do is uh, they'll grab a figure and recast the whole thing. I do gotta say though that I'm very impressed with the paint job. Uh, the metallic paint job on the figure is very nice. You guys can see that it's very detailed. And uh, I mean, like every figure and uh, the we collector, uh, we collectors get, uh, it had some good things and it also had some bad things. So I'm I'm gonna go ahead and give you the good things. Uh, well, the first good thing is uh, the price. This is something, well, you know that the Hot Toys uh, Mark 50 goes on the market for uh, $400 to $450. And obviously Hot Toys is, you know, awesome, the best you can get on the market when it comes to one scales, the, the original Mark 50s, uh, die cast, and comes with LED lights and all that. But this one, uh, this one is only $45. Yeah, I got this uh, over eBay for $45 in free shipping, so that's that. And the second thing is the paint job they did. Uh, the figure is very, very nice. It looks very shiny like any other uh, Iron Man armor. Uh, you guys can see the detail from top to bottom. You see it comes with uh, a very shiny red. It also comes with very shiny gold and then um, a little bit of silver here and there. And also uh, it comes with a Tony Stark head skull. I will show it to you in a little bit. And uh, well, and the bad thing is that uh, it has very little articulation. It only comes with articulation and the head and also come with articulation on the hands, like you can move the, the hands uh, uh, up and down to the side, and uh, but that's about it. And right here you see the head skull. Uh, I gotta say that uh, I bought the Mark 47 for, from uh, Crazy Toys, and the Tony Stark head skull was bad. It was very bad. I mean, it has like a shiny plastic, into the skin that it make it looks very bad but this one is actually very decent I mean guys you need to you understand that this is a $45 uh, dollar fee so I'm, I'm, I'm very pleased with the head skull I think they did a very good job I think the only problem with it is the eyes the eyes look a little off but uh, once you get some uh, sunglasses on it like right now uh, problem flex uh, uh, problem fix and uh, as you guys can see the head skull is not bad at all so you have the option of uh, using just the, the Mark 50 head mount, helmet or using the Tony Stark head skull so I gotta say that I'm very pleased uh, if you're looking for something that is cheap if you cannot afford to pay $400 and you just want the Mark 50 and display um, I mean, this is perfect. Uh, so let's go ahead and go through the box. The box is very, very simple. Just you guys see, this says Iron Man, and and the bottom says uh, Mark 50, once he scale figure, and on the side it says uh, Iron Man. Again, guys, these uh, these boxes are very simple, and, and the back just says, it says the same thing, Iron Man, and then in the bottom you see Empire Toys and uh, the instructions and I don't know if it's that uh, Mandarin or Japanese or Chinese and then the other side you see Iron Man again um, I do gotta say that uh, I believe the Crazy Toys 
and Empire Toys are the same company. I mean, because they use the same boxes, they use the same models, the same way they pack their figures is pretty much the same thing. So, uh, box is very simple, it's very small, but it, and, and the good side it is not as bad when it comes to paying for shipping. All right, so here you guys see a, a, a side comparison right next to the Mark 7. This is our real Hot Toys. This is the Hot Toys uh, Mark 7 based on the, the Avengers, the first Avengers movie. And as you can see, guys, the color on the armors is very similar. The shiny red, uh, the shiny silver, and even the shiny gold. So the Empire Toys Mark 50 uh, right next to other figures, other onesie scale figures like Hot Toys or uh, So So Toys or Toy Works, whatever you collect, is going to look okay. We need to uh, think about again that this is something that costs uh, $50, uh, $45, that's what I paid for. And uh, so my last thoughts on the figure is, uh, again, uh, Hot Toys is the best you can get. If you can afford paying $400 for the Mark 50 Hot Toys, go ahead, because that's the best figure you can get. That's one of my favorite Iron Man's, and I hope that one day uh, I will be able to get the real Hot Toys. But if you cannot afford to pay $400, uh, this figure is, uh, is very good. Especially if you just want to collect the different armors and maybe you just want to display them all, all, all the armors in the back, uh, this is perfect. As you guys can see, this is my main display and the figure looks just perfect right next to the to the Avengers so anyways guys I really hope that you enjoyed the video uh, this is Marvel Icon 12 thanks for watching and I guess I will talk to you later thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe